Hey everyone, it's Brad from Amplified Parts. Today we'll be replacing the caps on a Super Reverb. Before opening up an amp like this, we'll make sure the power cord is unplugged from the outlet and check that we have the proper tools necessary to complete the task. You can find the links to the tools used in this video below. Once the amp chassis is removed from the header cabinet, we'll want to access the capacitors. This model has a cap pan, which must be removed with a screwdriver. Other amps may have the large filter caps wired internally. Now that we have access to the caps, we can see two of these are visibly leaky, so we are going to replace all of them. We have already discharged the caps, but it never hurts to double check with the multimeter to make sure there is no live voltage. Now we can begin removing the capacitors by heating one connection at a time and lifting the lead from the eyelet using our pliers. Solder removers, such as a braid or a sucker, can also be helpful. We'll note the orientation of each capacitor before removing it. A drawing or a picture can be extremely helpful. Today we'll be using F&T capacitors. These are used by professionals and boutique amp builders. There are many options, such as Sprague, Illinois, JJ, or Generics. Everyone will have their own preference, but any modern electrolytic cap will always be better than a failed leaky one. We'll be working one leg at a time, much like they were removed. Cut one lead to size, solder into place, cut the other lead to size, and solder that one into place. It's better to cut the leads too long and work from there than to cut it too short and realize the capacitor can no longer be used. We're also paying attention to our notes and photos to make sure that we are orienting the capacitors with the correct polarity. We always double and even triple check this since an incorrectly wired capacitor can be very destructive. Two main things we are trying to accomplish here are good solder joints on all of our connections as well as a solid enough connection for the capacitor to be secure in place. We're not rushing here because doing the job right is more important than doing the job quickly. We are also trying to make the capacitors look nice by aligning them to one another and keeping the lead straight. Some people get creative and do right angles as well as other things. We're now going back through our solder joints and touching them up. We're using one hand to hold the cap steady, then retouching each connection. Once everything is in place, we'll start putting the amp back together again. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment below. Once again, links to all the tools and caps used in this video can be found in the description below. Stay tuned for part two of our Super Reverb series.